Let me ask you a question. Are you a pointer or are you glue? You heard me. Are you a pointer or are you glue? You don't have any idea what I'm talking about? That's okay. Maybe today's gospel will help us figure out which one of these we are. Whatever you're doing right now, wherever you are, I want you to stand up for the good news of Jesus Christ and sing with me. Halle, halle, halle. According to Matthew, glory to you, O Lord, and may the word be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. Jesus said to his disciples, if one of my followers sins against you, go and tell that person what was wrong, but do it in private, just between the two of you. If that person listens, you have won back a follower. But if that one refuses to listen, take along one or two others. The scriptures teach that every complaint must be proven true by two or more witnesses. If the follower refuses to listen to them, report the matter to the church. Anyone who refuses to listen to the church must be treated like an unbeliever or a tax collector. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, so which one are you? Are you a pointer or are you glue? You still don't know what I'm talking about? Well, let me tell you what a pointer is. A pointer is someone who points out when someone else is doing something wrong and lets the whole world know it. Sometimes we call it a finger pointer, right? So imagine you're at school and you see someone butt in front of someone else in line and you say, hey, you butted in line. You're a line skipper. Or you see someone looking on your paper and you say, hey, you're looking on my paper. You're a cheater. Or you, you used a bad word. You're a mud mouth. That's what a pointer is, right? They point out to the whole world that someone else is doing something wrong. Now, does a pointer have a good idea of what's right and what's wrong? Yeah, that's one good thing. But is it the best way to solve a problem to let the whole world know that that person is wrong, that they're the bad guy, and you call them out? Well, maybe not. That's not what Jesus asked us to do. Jesus says if someone does something wrong, go to them one-on-one -on -one like a friend. Let them know what was wrong, but help them. You see, when we break the commandments, when we break God's rules of love, we're not only breaking a rule, what we're really doing is we're ruining friendships. We're hurting other people when we butt in front of line, or we cheat, or we lie, or we steal, or we call someone a bad name. We're ruining friendships. Jesus wants us to be glue. Jesus wants to go to people one-on-one -on -one and fix that relationship. Because remember, when we hurt our relationships with other people, we hurt our relationship with God. Jesus came here to help heal, fix, glue our relationship with one another and with God. So Jesus wants us to be glue. And he says, sometimes you may need help. You know, it could be hard going to someone else and saying, you know, you lied or, or you cheated or you did this. So we have friends who can help us. Your parents can help you. Your teachers can help you. Other friends, grandparents, godparents, even people at the church can help you. If you have a problem with someone else, they can help you be glue. So, Jesus has called the church to be glue for the world, to help other people. The church isn't meant just to sit there and point at other people's wrongdoings. No, we're there to go one-on-one, -on -one, heal people one friend at a time, and sometimes we may, need, we may need some glue, right? Sometimes we may be the person who's done something wrong and we need the church's help. 
So I want you to talk to your parents and grandparents about how you can be glue. The next time you see something wrong, try to be glue and heal a friendship. Okay, find a partner, point to your heart and say, God lives in me. Point to your partner's heart and say, God lives in you. Wiggle your fingers in the air and say, the Holy Spirit moves in me. Wiggle your fingers in front of your partner's face and say, the Holy Spirit moves in you. Now take your partner's hands and say, we are God's people. We are the glue. Point outside, let's go spread the good news. See you next week.